G'day fellas, welcome to another video at Outback Mini Moles. It's Clem again, and what have I got? I've got two of the new Dragon Air airbrushes by SMS DAO2. That's the product uh, code if you want to order one. And these are the 0.3 versions. Okay, there's a 0.2 and there's a 0.3, okay? And the 0.3 um, Dragon Airs are black. That's how you know. The blue ones are 0.2. So, before I open this up, let's have a word from our sponsor. Tired of paying too much and not getting the quality you deserve? Do your models look sad and cry out for colour? Then look no further, because here at Outback Mini Models, we use and recommend SMS paints, tools and accessories for the modeler by the modeler. Click the link below to order online or find a stockist near you. SMS. The Scale Modeler Supply, Australia's number one scale model paint. Okay, so what do we have? It's a clear box which it has a slide lock on the on the side there, so it's not going to pop up on you like, like some of the clip, like just the snap lock boxes that you get for some of these airbrushes. So that's a nice touch. It also comes in a nice little sturdy. Okay, it's a little thick little box packed with dense foam for your gun. So if you open it up, there's the blister that just pops out. So don't worry about that. The box isn't broken. That just stops the airbrush for some unknown reason to pop out. And it's, But it's very unlikely that it's going to be because you can see, all right, that there is in there snug. It's not going to pop out. So don't worry about that guys so we're going to get that out we're going to drop spin the camera around and go to the bench top view so what's in the box all right so as you can see that you get the gun itself you get a wrench you get a large cup and underneath and i'm not going to pull it out well i will but underneath because it's a bit of a pain to get out there's a a4 fold out pamphlet and it's got all the parts, how to pull your airbrush apart, how to put it back together, all the part numbers and things like that. Um, if you want to see what that piece of paper is, check out the other video um, on the on the Dragon. Check this video out. It's the Dragon Air. I actually do an unboxing of this DAO um, DAO one. Okay, the the point two version. So go check it out, and you'll see the instruction pamphlet in there. But it's the same inside as the other one, okay? The only difference is, is this one's black and the nozzle set, okay? It's a 0.3 nozzle set where the other one's 0.2. But if you're new to airbrushing, you're going to see that these, these seals here are white, not your standard black ones that you normally see in your, your Cheap Wish or your Allied Express um, $20 airbrushes that you see. They're black. They're now, you, put, you try to run lacquer through them, your seals are just going to go, they're just going to disappear, and you're going to destroy your gun. So, these, this airbrush, or the airbrushes in the SMS line are solvent resistant. So, if you love spraying lacquer, like I do, this is, <laughs> you're going to need solvent resistant O-rings, okay? So, chrome plated, and it comes with a nice pop cap, okay? So... And the, and the one thing I do like about it is the hole is right up the top, okay? Some of the airbrushes I've, I've had in the past is that the hole is on the side. I don't know why. So while you're airbrushing, you know, the cap's up here, paint rolls up the side of the cup and whoop, it comes out. So being right at the top and up the very, very top, because it, it is a domed cap, it's not a flat, flat top, it's pretty hard for that paint to come out. So, all right, so that just pops on like so it's not doesn't thread on or anything and it's a nice so like that oops so it just comes off like that Pop, pops back on also it comes with a that's, that's what i'm saying this thing is put in this um this packaging is unreal like it's, it's actually it takes a bit of work to get this stuff out so you've got a wrench all right so that's the sort of service your airbrush like so, you got 3.5, you got a 1.7, you got a 
four and a seven. All right, so that's there. Okay, then like so. And the airbrush itself, there's, an, there's enough finger holes in this thing to sort of like jam your finger in there and pull it out. You don't have to get picking through it. But this one here, because I've got a fat thumb, I found it pretty hard to get out. So if you've got really fat fingers or big fingers, I shouldn't say fat because that's not nice. If you've got big fingers, um, yeah, it's it's going to take some work to get out. All right, so we're going to shut this up. And we're going to have a look have a look all right so it has a forged aluminum body okay so there is some weight to this airbrush it's not a really light cheap feeling gun okay so you know like it it feels nice in the hand actually so if I sort of and there's our new pup Rommel you got a new pup the other day so if, yeah, if you want actually want to see Ron one day, just comment in the video, then I'll chuck him, I'll chuck him on with me, and we'll have him in a video with us. Um, so yeah, what I like about this airbrush, also by SMS, is they throw in, and every every airbrush has got it. It's just it's just standard with all the airbrushes. Is a is a male quick release adapter. Okay, so if you've if you've already got a quick release. Like all your airbrushes have quick release, and normally I've got to buy extra sets just to put if I buy a new gun because most guns I buy doesn't come with it. So stock standard in the kit. So if you don't have one, just unscrew it and then screw your airline straight onto it, and then you're good to go. But if you if you already have a quick release system, leave it on, okay? Because this is why you just throw it on and you're ready to go. That's it. Chuck it on, ready to go. Also, you got your Mac valve on my on my airline here, so I can, as I'm spraying, I can just adjust my air from here, and I don't have to muck around, lean down, bend over, down to where my compressor is, and sort of you know, waste time of that. All right, so that's that. That's good to see. There's a a trigger or a needle adjuster on the back as well, so you tighten it up. All right. Doesn't it be too tight? Don't go stupid and putting a pair of pliers on the back because you'll break it. So just be gentle. Tread like any tools. Just look after it. Be gentle. And then as you, uh, if looking at the back from the top, if you're adjusting it left or right, so if, well, technically it's anti-clockwise. So if you go anti-clockwise, you're loosening or you're taking it back so the needle's got further to travel backwards and you can adjust your trigger okay so if you want heaps of like just paint coming out just loosen it up if you're doing fine detail work just tighten it up not all the way because you're not going to you're not going to be able to move it okay so you got to give it some some give and also you know, thin your paint out if you're going to use this because otherwise it's not going to come out all right so the all the nozzles and that come out quite easy or the nozzle cap yeah, so what I was thinking, and I didn't, and I didn't say this in my last video because I only just thought about it now. Something nice that I'd love to see in like an updated version of this of the kit itself. Nothing wrong with the airbrush. Okay, I've got nothing to bad to say about it. What I'd love to see in the kit is a pinch tip cover on this. Okay, so there's the two prong adapter that you just screw off. And that way, because I know a lot of airbrushes out there, including myself, love to spray with the, the needle guard off, okay? And then all that does, it just allows you to get finer detail and things like that. So with a pinch tip, it protects your needle and it also sort of maximizes the airflow around the needle so you get finer detail. So yeah, Scott, if you are watching, put one in or even sell it separately. That would be cool. Um, but um yeah other than that it's a pretty nice gun so the small cup itself has a, a um, solvent resistant o-ring as well okay and also it comes with a lid so if i just put that down for a second also it comes with a lid and a air hole all right and you can't see it i'll see bring it up there you go you can see the hole there 
it just so it lets air in so it doesn't block up while you're spraying shut that back it stops paint from spilling and another thing is also a nice touch that these airbrushes have is a nice big um what would you call that uh inlet for the paint to go into the gun okay some of the paint some of the guns i have beside me here the holes are a little bit smaller so which when you it does come to come clean it out you know you can't get a q-tip in there or a cotton tip wherever part of the world you come from everyone calls them differently cotton bud and it's really hard to get something in there to clean to dry it up um gunk or if you accidentally you know you mix paints together like you've forgotten that you had acrylic and you've for some reason you've put enamel thinners or something through there and your paint just you know you just clogs up and then you've got to strip your gun or whatever but with this you can fit a paintbrush down there scrub like just scrub in there like that like i said cut q-tip but yeah that's pretty much all i can show you on this airbrush i mean i can't really show you a spray how it sprays right now because i don't really have anything ready to spray um there will be something ready at from the time of this video hopefully in the next week um so i can do some primer testing on this and things like that even just detail work and test the lines on pieces of paper and things like that but yeah just right now um i don't really have much time to sort of do much more being pretty busy with work so as most of us are but thanks for watching guys as always if you're new to outback mini models um don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video hit the like button and if you didn't like it hit the dislike button okay it it helps me out guys it just lets me know what you what you guys want to watch or what you don't want to watch and also feel free to comment down below and like i said it on the video i'll leave a link to where you can get all this sms gear wherever you are around the world okay just be patient especially with all this covid stuff at the moment um it might take a little bit longer for this new stuff to get to your country or depending on your store they may not order it but you can definitely order it directly from um, the guys at um, SMS here in Australia because they do ship around the world. So, and Scotty's also very, very helpful. So, thanks guys, and I will catch you next time at Outback Mini Models. Catch up. Have a great day. Bye bye.